So again, uh, this is Professor Kang of Gwangun University in Seoul, Korea. Uh, this time I'd like to introduce uh, Multimedia Signal Processing Online Lecture 2. Uh, first of all, uh, let me show you the textbooks. Uh, I'd like to introduce uh, two textbooks. The first one is uh, Multimedia Signal Processing, especially uh, applied to music, speech, music, and communications. And the second uh, textbook is Multimedia uh, Signal Coding and Transmission. So next time, uh, I will explain it in detail. The first textbook uh, the contents of multimedia signal processing was written by Said by Basigi 2007. And the, per, the first part one is titled in basic digital signal processing. Okay. The contents is the chapter one is the introduction, the signals and the information. What is, what are signals and information? And what is signal processing methods? And what are applications of digital signal processing? And chapter two uh, is a Fourier analysis and synthesis. As you know, the Fourier analysis synthesis is Fourier transform, okay? And chapter three, I'd like to introduce a Z transform. Z transform is a mathematical tool for analyzing digital system, just as Laplace transform for analog system. And chapter four is uh, digital filters. Digital filters are the fundamental elements of digital signal processing. You know. And chapter five, so I will show you the sampling and quantization. Here, sampling means uh, discrete in time. And quantization means discrete in amplitude for uh, analog to digital conversion. Okay. And the part two, the title is model based signal processing. Uh, notice the model based. Okay. And chapter, chapter six, uh, uh, introduce uh, the information theory and uh, probability models. Uh, information theory and the probability models are mathematical tools for model-based signal processing. Okay, and uh, especially chapter nine is uh, adaptive filters, the Kalman filters, uh, LLS, RA, LMS. Okay, and chapter ten. So, uh, linear prediction models. Uh, here, all linear prediction models are used for uh, speech generation of a Schumann uh, speech system. Okay, and chapter 11 is so hidden Markov models. Hidden Markov models are statistical methods for uh, speech recognition. Okay, and chapter 12, the last a part is eigenvalue analysis, a principal component analysis, for short the PCA, and independent component analysis, ICA. The details are given by the next lectures. Okay. And part three, uh, applications of this signal processing to speech and the music. Okay. Chapter 13 is the music signal processing and the auditory perceptions. You know, auditory means a, a man's ear. Uh, auditory perception, how man can hear the sound from outside. Okay. The first session is a review of the basic physics of sounds. And the second session is music signal features and uh, models. Okay, and next, anatomy of the ear and the hearing process. Here, the anatomy is the structure, the structure of the ear. 
and the hearing and process. And next, psychoacoustics of hearing. Psychoacoustics means the psychology plus acoustics of hearing from outside. Okay. And next session is music coding. Uh, it's called uh, music signal compression. And the session is high quality audio coding. You know, MPEG audio layer three is called MP3. Okay. And the last session is stereo music coding. Stereo music. You like stereo system? Okay. And chapter 14 uh, is a speech recognition and speech coding and speech synthesis. Uh, as you know, speech recognition means how machines can understand human speech. And the synthesis means uh, how uh, computers can mimic uh, the human voice. And coding is a uh, uh, signal compression, okay? And, and 15 is a speech enhancement. Speech enhancement means uh, a signal uh, quality to improve the signal quality uh, for a speech signal enhancement. Okay, and the part two, for I continue uh, applications of digital signal processing to telecommunications. Okay, uh, at chapter 16, I will show you echo cancellations. You know, echo. Echo is ah, uh, as uh, so you can hear your voice. Ah, uh, okay, echo. And here, adaptive echo cancellation is very interesting area. Uh, here, adaptive filters are used for echo cancellation. And the multi-input, multi-output echo cancellations is introduced here. And chapter 17, a channel equalization and blind deconvolution. Here, channel equalization means uh, uh, in the communication channel, and there are uh, some distortions from noise or interferences. So we have to uh, compensate for the channel distortion. Uh, so a channel equalization is a very uh, necessary for uh, channel uh, speech communication, communication model, okay? The equalization based on linear production model, and second, blind equalization for digital communication channels. Uh, for digital communication and channels, uh, here blind means we have no uh, information. Uh, here, the linear prediction models are known are the prior no, prior known model for equalization, but blind equalization has no prior information, okay? And the chapter 18 is a signal processing in mobile communications, okay? First, introduction to cellular communications, it's a cell phone, you know, and the communication signal processing in mobile systems, and the multipath, multipath, and the feeding in mobile communications. When there are many uh, paths uh, in the communication channel, especially in mobile systems, there are some feedings from uh, many access signals. So we have to uh, solve the multipath and feeding uh, problems. And the smart antennas. Here, smart antennas, we can use space and time signal processing. The smart antennas can control the beam direction you want by uh, time, space time signal processing. Okay? And our next uh, book. I'd like to uh, show you the contents of uh, multimedia signal coding and transmission. 
So written by James Rayner Ohm, 2015, this year. The second textbook uh, is very important for multimedia signal processing. The first chapter is the introduction, the signal sources, and how to acquire the signals. And second, digital representation of multimedia signals. Here, multimedia, especially audio or video signals. Chapter two has uh, fundamentals of multimedia uh, signals processing. Uh, first, uh, signals and the Fourier spectrum. Uh, Fourier uh, transform, okay? And sampling of multimedia signals. So multimedia, so many media signals can be sampled, okay? And the statistical analysis and linear prediction and filter bank transforms, these methods are the fundamentals of uh, multimedia signal processing, okay? And the next, uh, the methods of signal compression. In order to uh, compress the signals, uh, we have to know the, the properties of vision and properties of hearing, okay? So vision is the man's eye and hearing is the man's ear, okay? And chapter four, so quantization and the coding theory are introduced. First of all, scalar quantization. Uh, is used for uh, pulse code modulation. This is a kind of digital modulation system, you know. And the second is entropy coding as a vector quantization. Theories are used for coding theory, okay? In chapter five, we'll show the methods of signal compression, okay? Here, signal means uh, audio signal, video signal, speed signal, etc. So we have many, many uh, kinds of uh, coding. Uh, uh, it's a run length coding, as a predictive coding, and transform coding are uh, uh, very famous methods of coding of signals, okay? And the next, uh, let me introduce uh, intra-picture and inter-picture coding, okay? Intra-picture coding means Intra-picture is uh, in the same pictures. Uh, how to code the signals, okay? The compression of binary pictures and the vector quantization of pictures and the predictive coding of pictures and transform coding of pictures. These are all intra-picture coding methods. And chapter seven, We'll introduce inter-picture codings. So inter-picture means uh, between uh, different pictures, we have to code the signals. Just like that, it's hybrid video coding, special temporal transform coding. This is a space and a time domain, okay? And the multi-view video coding, and the video coding standards, okay? Video coding standards is MPEG, you know, motion picture, Experts group. It's a international uh, international standard for video coding standard. Okay, and chapter eight, the speech and audio coding. Uh, first, the coding of a speech signal, and the genetic uh, audio, music, and the sound coding. Okay, so and this chapter will uh, introduce the coding of speech and audio signals, and the chapter nine. Uh, this is the last, last chapter. Uh, we'll introduce the transmission and the storage of multimedia data. Okay? Audio, video, speech, music, sound, etc. Multimedia data. How to transmit and how to storage multimedia data. Okay? Um, uh, I introduced uh, two textbooks. Okay, uh, next uh, lectures, especially offline class meeting, I'll introduce more deeply the contents of textbooks. 
okay and uh, especially uh, I will show you the uh, smartphone smart home okay uh, smart home is automation uh, home system mm, I suggested the smart home as one of multimedia signal processing application as you know here home automation has been around from many decades in terms of lightning and the simple appliance control okay the light control and appliance control in house in the house and only recently has technology caught up for the idea of an interconnected world allowing full control of your home from anywhere from outside to become a reality thus providing convenience and comfortable convenience and control and money savings and overall smarter home okay the automation system makes your home smarter okay at any time you can grab your iPhone or Android phone okay, device or other remote control and can exchange the settings in your house as desired for example as a set up box you know okay and next the home automation is the residential extension of building automation okay and the home automation may include centralized control of lighting HVAC so heating system ventilation uh, this means uh, wind control okay and air conditioning and appliances electrical appliances and security locks of gates and the doors and other systems to provide improved convenience and comfort energy efficiency and security so home automation for the elderly as old men and women women and disabled people can provide increased quality of life for persons who might otherwise require caregivers for institutional care okay and the home automation turns a home into a smart home okay the popularity of home automation has been increasing greatly in recent years due to much higher affordability and simplicity through smartphone and tablet connectivity the concept of the internet of things you know IOT has tied in closely with the popularization of home automation okay recently smart home use IOT so based on internet okay and the home automation system integrates electrical devices in a house with each other the techniques employed in home automation include those in building automation as well as the control of domestic activities such as home entertainment system house plant and the yard watering and the pet feeding you know cat or dog feeding and changing the atmosphere scenes for different events such as dinners or parties lighting control system and the use of domestic robots okay so devices may be connected through a home network to allow control by a personal computer and may allow remote access from the internet through the integration of information technologies with the home environments systems and appliances can communicate in an integrated manner which results in convenience energy efficiency and safety benefits okay i'd like to show you a special 
uh, video clip, a smart home system. Uh, uh, when you are watching the video tip, uh, imagine what is the smart home, okay? Good morning, master. Wake up mode is activated. Temperature now is 23 degree. Background music playing. Enjoy your coffee. Brought to you by www.smarthouse.my. Come on, upgrade your lifestyle today. And I show you the home automation to monitor and control a house. Uh, just before you watched the video clip of uh, smart home. Uh, at the video clip, you can see the various kinds of uh, automatic system. The first one is a fingerprint. You know, fingerprint is, uh, is a, we can use the first, fing uh, first finger as a fingerprint for ID verification at the front door. Okay? And pin code, okay? You can touch the, the pin number for authentication, digital lock, for ID verification, verification. And second, as entertainment control by gesture recognition system. Gesture here means uh, finger gesture, and the face gesture, and the hand gesture, and the body gesture. So, we can use the gesture recognition system for entertainment control. And the automatic motion sensing lighting, here is motion and detecting. We can, uh, we, we have to use the uh, motion detector. Here is a motion detector is a device which detects moving objects particularly people motion, okay? And the voice control home theater automation. Here, uh, the home theater uh, use a speech recognition for control the home theater. The light control by any internet enabled devices. Uh, in the preceding uh, slides, I already uh, explained IoT, the Internet of Things. Okay, the next lectures, I'll uh, introduce you in detail the Internet of Things. Okay, 
and the high tech and high tech security with electronic access control and 24 hours online CCTV and motion sensing. Okay, the home office equipped with multi-touch wall, you know, multi-touch wall for appliance control in the house. And the human sensing bathroom automation, okay, uh, detecting uh, people's people's motion, okay, and the humidity sensing and automatic watering, and the smoke and the gas sensor alarm automation. The dancing water, you know, dancing water, the dancing water, powered by motorized pump programming. Okay, uh, these are the uh, some uh, categories of uh, home automation as a smart home. Okay, uh, let's have a some break, and we'll meet. Uh, in a second part of online lecture.